Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Chris Mazzarella and you're watching No Reserve Classic. And before we get started guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Cause you never know, your dream ride could be in the next video. So here we have it guys, the beautiful 1972 Chevrolet Camaro. On the exterior of this vehicle, it's featuring that beautiful silver paint with that gloss black racing stripes throughout. And underneath that hood, we got that Chevy 350 small block engine and that TH350 automatic transmission. And you know, of course, this baby has got posi traction. So no more one-legged burnouts. On the interior, beautifully restored and super comfortable. Very elegant. And it even has an auxiliary jack with an aftermarket OEM style radio. So you can plug in your cell phone. Now I know you guys can't be with me here today on this beautiful ride, but if you visit us at No Reserve Classic, you'll be able to view the beautiful exterior of this car with a virtual 360 degree tour. That's right, with a simple swipe of a finger, you'll be able to view the beautiful exterior of this car. And after you're done with that, hop over to the inside for another 360 degree virtual tour. And while you're there, make sure you look at our full photo set from front to back and top to bottom. And if you're wondering how to get this beautiful ride into your garage, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800-562-7815, and I'll be sure to guide you through the full process. So starting on the outside of this vehicle, you're gonna notice that iconic split bumper, super stylish and super elegant, and brand spanking new, just installed a few days ago. And I'll tell you what, from that solid bumper, all the way up to the split bumper gives it a great transformation. I mean, it's paired with the Z28 emblems on this vehicle, making it a Z28 tribute vehicle. Just very stylish and very tastefully done, not overly done. I mean, it looks really good. It's a 70s car. I mean, you have that Ferrari inspired eggshell styling up front, just ahead of its time. As we move down the side of this vehicle, you're gonna notice those beautiful radial TA tires, white lettering, of course, on those 15 inch Z28 wheels on there with brand new chrome trimming on them, just giving it an extra pop on the outside of the vehicle. And it's got those massive 255 millimeter wide rear tires on there. We got a decent amount of power under this hood. So we hit that gas pedal. We wanna make sure that these tires stay down to the ground. Now you can upgrade this vehicle if you wanted to in the future with some different style wheels. But I love the styling of this vehicle from the outside all the way to the inside. And as we move backwards towards those wheels, you're gonna notice they actually match the paint of the vehicle. Super common in the earlier 90s vehicles as well, in the IROCs, et cetera. The Z28 has those color match wheels on there, which brings the paint from the outside of the vehicle all the way to those wheels. Now, as we move forward to the interior of this vehicle, it is super simple and super clean and definitely a well-preserved and well-restored vehicle. Starting off at the dash, super smooth, no cracks, no crevices in there. The dash, super factory, very easy to use. Everything is super functional. You pull the headlight knobs. You got the dimming switch on here, the wipers, the lighter, and even the working horn, of course. As we move towards the sides of the door panels, very factory looking, but where we're gonna be most of the time are in these seats. Now, it does have a cushion that was installed right over this, preserving these factory seats. And what that allowed the seat to do is not have any rips or tears in it. And it's very plush on the back area as well as the side. Even the back seats, they look brand new. It doesn't even look like anybody ever sat in those vehicles. But it does have a few key things that are important. One thing is safety. So we have our three-point seatbelt harnesses right here. And our second thing is located right above our staple shifter. It is gonna be your radio. Now, although this vehicle does have a nice Flowmaster exhaust system in here with those beautiful headers on here, so when you hit that gas, it gives it a really nice, good tone. But let's face it, sometimes you wanna take our phones, connect our radio, and just enjoy our tunes and plug them right in. 
So if you didn't want to listen to the AM FM on this vehicle, simply plug in your phone. It's got a 3.5 millimeter adapter on there with these awesome speakers just surrounding us and letting us enjoy our tunes. We press that auxiliary button and crank that baby up and we can go to a car show, a car meet, or simply just even pick up a set of groceries. Now today it's pretty cold out, it's about 42 degrees, and we got the heat blasted on this baby. But don't worry, I already checked out and inspected it. This baby's got factory air conditioning. Yes, factory air conditioning. Originally built with this vehicle and super ice cold. So you have your awesome radio in here and your awesome air conditioning and just a pleasant and quiet environment. I mean, we're going, went over some crazy bumps just right now and the suspension is absorbing it. On the underneath of this vehicle, very clean looking, very solid. And I will tell you, although it is factory under there, they have installed frame connectors that have been welded and installed throughout the vehicle. So it's gonna give it a little bit of firmness that is added with the sway bars that are on this vehicle. So back in the day on the front of these vehicles, they had the nosebleed suspension. That's been changed out with those Edelbrock shocks in the front and the rear shocks have been changed out as well. So it has been taken care of and it has been updated. It is a very comfortable ride. I will admit this is probably one of the newest Camaros we're selling and one of the newest Camaros that I'm in. And I will tell you that it definitely shows. A 350 cubic inch motor paired up with that TH350 automatic transmission. And like I said before, definitely has that posi traction in the rear. So when you hit that gas, we're gonna take off like a rocket ship. Now that 350 does have a few upgrades on it. Although it is not fuel injected, it has an electronic choke on there. So when you start this baby right up, that baby closes all by itself, gives it an easy start on it. And I'll tell you what, I've started this car probably about 10 or 11 times, and it's been anywhere between 80 degrees all the way down to about 40 degrees, and it hasn't let me down since very easily start. Now, when you do start the vehicle, you will notice a little bit different tone. And why is that? That's because of that Edelbrock intake manifold paired up with the aftermarket headers and the aftermarket Flowmaster exhaust. So whether you're looking at the engine compartment that's looking absolutely beautiful and factory or the underbody of this vehicle looking super, super like a toy car or even the outside of this vehicle, you will admit this vehicle was restored very well and very elegantly, just tastefully done from the outside to the underbody to even the interior. All right, so as we come up to a stop, whoa! Good thing we have those power brakes holding this baby down and stopping us. But let's see what this 350 is all about. We got power steering, very easily turning. We just went over some massive bumps and I didn't even move at all. Super comfortable seating paired with those big tires on there, just absorbing the road. I mean, the view ahead is very nice. We're not having any obstructions, very good sight line. We have the manual slash automatic side view mirrors. Very nice, you don't have to roll the window down to take those babies and adjust them. Very nice, comfortable steering wheel with the staple shifter. I mean, the placement of, the, of my body is very nice. We're going over some bumps right now. And I will tell you, with the restoration that this car has gone through, I believe that this car is brand new. I mean, I feel like I'm back in high school. I'm the coolest kid on the block. I got my Z28 styled Camaro with the split bumper, black interior with those beautiful wheels on there with the white letters on there. Just looking great. It is definitely a step back in time and beautifully restored and super comfortable. I mean, when can you just get into a car, easily start it, and just cruise. I mean, I don't have my hands on the steering wheel, which is really nice because the car's driving super straight. We're going over some bumps. We're testing out the brakes, hitting the accelerator. I mean, this car is just comfortable. It's a great driver quality vehicle. The paint on it is very nice. Everything about this car is just super great. So guys, whether you're looking for a car to bring you back in time to your high school days or just an awesome, 
72 Chevy Camaro. This vehicle is one not to be missed. I definitely will say I'm starting to get suckered into these newer style Chevy Camaros because I'll tell you what, they are super comfortable and super dreamy. I'll see you guys in the next video. And guys, I'm Chris Mazzarella, and you've been watching No Reserve Classics. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800-562-7815. And if you guys haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, because you never know, your dream ride could be in the next video.